Hello guys, welcome back to the Fat Cat Caravan. Thank you for stopping by again. And also, I want to say before I get started on this, thank you for all your lovely comments and your condolences. I, I really do appreciate it. Honestly, guys, I can't tell you how much. Um, it's been a it's been a trying. <laughs> I want to say week, but it's more like a couple of weeks. So um, yeah, I'm getting there now. We're getting we're getting back on the uh, the old, you know, getting back onto videos now. Um, I want to. I'm not quite ready for streaming yet, I don't think. Um, I, I will, though, guys. Don't worry. I will come back um, with the stream and don't have no fear about that. But I just want to say a massive thank you. And I really feel the love from you guys. And I, I appreciate it, really. Um, yeah. Thank you again. Right. So moving on from that, we are doing a simulation of a different kind today. This is Brewmaster, the beer brewing simulator. Now, I remember when this came out and like, is it, it was, I want to say September. I think, yeah, I'm sure it was a September um, I don't know how long ago now it was. I want to say a couple of years, <laughs> probably. I was going to do it there and then. I thought this is, looks quite interesting, but you know what? I just I think the price might have been the, the thing. I can't re I can't remember. Anyway, I stuck it in my wish list, and it's gone on sale. And in fact, I've got this game for free in effect because uh, using the uh, PlayStation Rewards system, uh, the PlayStation Stars. Uh, if anyone, you, people must know about that, but if you don't, it's just a thing where you obviously, like, as in Microsoft, as in Nintendo as well, when you purchase stuff, you get points, and um, with those points, you can convert them into actual store credit, which is awesome, which is amazing, and discounts and so on like that. So, anyway, moving on, let's move on. This is Brewmaster Beer Simulator. Let's have a look at this today, then. This is my first time playing it. This is the PS5 version today, so... Let's do a new game, shall we? I did kind of just have a quick go, real super quick go. I haven't got anywhere in it at all. I think I just filled up the uh, the first pot of water, I think, and that was it. So let's go, shall we? Disable tutorial. Hell no. Hell no. This is <laughs> one thing you want a tutorial in, isn't it? So we've got brewmaster mode. In this mode, you'll learn how to brew, complete jobs, enter competitions. Oh, okay. And progress through the story. That'll make you a true brewmaster. I recommend it for new players. That's definitely us. And then you've got free play mode. You can just keep going and going and going, I'm guessing. All right, cool. Let's do Brewmaster mode then, shall we? Right, welcome, Brewer. Who's this then? It's old Jeff. Hey, up, Jeff. How you doing, mate? No, he wouldn't talk like that, would he? Okay, you're about to take your first steps in the world of home brewing. A packed, sorry, a world packed with creativity, discovery, and most of all, excellent beers. I'm getting really thirsty now, I don't know about you, but uh, brewing is an art with endless possibilities where true mastery can take a lifetime. Yet at its heart, it's wonderfully simple. Anyone could pick up brew pot, pick up a brew pot, throw a few ingredients together, create a tasty, thirst quenching beer to share with friends and family. Okay, if anyone can do it, I mean well, that means I can do it then. Right, so let's let's get to brewing, shall we? All right, Jeff. Cheers, Jeff. Thank you. Morgan Freeman. All right, let's get to brewing. Yeah, this is a very smooth game as well, a very pretty looking game as well. It's a nice little pad, isn't it, eh? eh? Oh, look at this, this sofa, man. Oh, little armchair. Can we sit in the armchair by the fire? Look, proper granddad. Get the old granddad slippers on, you know. <laughs> right, cool. Right, first thing first. Uh, brew a beer. Okay. Retrieve the brew pot from the old cabinet. This is our kitchen, by the way, guys. Look, there you go. Gordon Ramsay, eat your heart out. Look at this bad boy. Anyway. Right. Kitchen equipment covered. Here we go. The storage screens where you can retrieve equipment, ingredients, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I've done this part. So we grab the old brew pot. We got it. Now we've got to place it in the old uh, sink. Take the lid off. Dun, dun. I was expecting some kind of satisfying, like, ding, ding, that kind of steel sound. You know, I don't know why there's no sound with that lid. Do you know the lids? The, <laughs> the lid sound sounds good, doesn't it? When it goes, ding, ding, ding. We hear that little ting. Anyway. Right. Enough of that. So we've got to turn on the tap and put in uh, 21 litres of water. Okay. Right, now if you notice, you can just kind of put the curse on the pot and it goes up very slowly. 25 litres, look how fast it's going, look. We haven't hit a litre yet, there we go. Right, what we can do is hold, uh, press L2 to bring up our watch and we can obviously speed up time. So we can just kind of go to get it done a lot quicker. So we do 10 times, maybe 100 times. You've got to be careful, <laughs> it goes really quick 100 times. So yeah, we just kind of speed up time, which is very useful. 21 on the nose, that'll do. We'll close that quickly, shut that off, lovely. I don't think it matters if we go a little bit over, so we've got 21.39, there we go. Right, so we've got to pick it up, put it in the old, uh, heat it up on the old hob there. 
Right, so. Place a brew pot from the sink, place it on the cushion hob, and turn the hob on. So, yeah. Initially, when you look at this game, you think, okay, you, you click, you, you want to press X to click it. Like, you think, oh, hold on a minute. Why is it not interactive? So, basically, what happens is it's very, until you get used to this game, it's when you look down at the hob now, if bottom right, you'll see the square button turn on. So it's not what you think straight away, because I was like kind of clicking it with X button thinking, oh, why, why can't I press these buttons? Yeah, so it's just, there's a lot of that in this game. Let me just turn it around this way. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of that in this game. It's just got, you've got to look out for those prompts at uh, the bottom right. So if you see open fridge freezers, right, what do we want now? We want to retrieve a can of malt extract from the fridge freezer. Okay. It's realistic. I mean, I'm sure if you follow this game, you could probably like brew your own beer in real life. I'm sure, maybe if you get these ingredients. It's actually got the efficiency. It's got like, like protein addition, color influence. Look at all this. Look, malty and sweet, crisp, clean. Fuck you know. So we can do. What should we do? Very low protein addition. Very low. You know what? Let's go for this one then. Right, two kilos. So when you press X, it brings up this menu. So we want two kilos. So 250 grams by default, and then just kind of whack it up to two kilos. There we go. Right, we've got two kilos of that. Now, this is the fun part. This is what I like doing, pouring stuff in. It's really cool. So we're going to pour into, so you can kind of see as well. So you can just pour it. Here we go. Pour the whole lot. Look at that. That thick. Looks like caramel, doesn't it? In she goes. Lovely. Stop pouring. Now, I think we can just throw this in the bin now. Boom, there we go. Right. Retrieve a bag of steepable grain from the ingredients cupboard. Right, okay, whatever you say, mate. Obviously, like, I don't know nothing about brewing beer, by the way, guys. I've got a bloody Scooby-Doo. I know this hops and barley, I thought it was. But anyway, look, there's a lot more to it than what I initially thought. Anyway, so, 500 grams, okay. There we go. Yeah, so as you can see, it's like a, it's like a tea bag, I guess, isn't it? Yeah. So we can clip these to the side of the pot while it's going. There you go, while it's cooking. So then they're submerged and it's taking out all that goodness. And as you, as you like hover over it, you can see the temperature going up as well. And undissolved, yeah, so this stuff will dissolve in the water as well. So it's pretty cool. Right, boil the water, uh, sorry, boil, boil the wort in the brew pot small. Okay, oh, we got boil it, right, okay. So continue heating the brew pot until wort, the wort is boiling around 100 Celsius. Okay, so we got to just basically skip time because the temperature is going up as you can see. So we've got to kind of skip time now. So we get off. Right, slow it down, simmer down, simmer down. Okay, right, that's it. Close the watch. Right, cool. Look at that. This looks like chocolate or something. Okay, retrieve one of the bags of bittering hops and one of bag of British hops. Okay. Cool. Same again. Clip it to the side. There we go. Continue to boil for 10 minutes, then remove all bags and turn off the hob. Okay, 10 minutes. What time have we got now? 12.06. So 12.16. Let's try and skip it forward a bit. 16. There we go. Remove the bags. Okay, so take off the bags. Remove that and remove that and remove that. Now, I'm not sure if these are still... Well, they're still in there. So we just put them back in the fridge, I guess. So I'll put them back in. <laughs> I don't know if you should be binning them or can reuse them. I don't, I don't know. I, I wouldn't have thought you could reuse them. But anyway, so we've done that already. Okay. Turned it off. There we go. Right. Wait until brew pots, the small brew pot, is at temperature of 21 Celsius or lower. So we've got to let it cool down then. So probably, do we take it off of here then, I'm guessing, or just leave it on there? We'll just leave it on there then. Uh, so we've got to skip time now. Okay. It's vital to cool the wort before adding yeast. Okay. Use the calendar to advance. Okay then. Let's advance by day. So we've got this cool down before we can add the yeast, which is fair enough. So one day, we'll skip that. There we go. Right, that's all cooled down now. As you can see by the temperature here. 20 degrees, yeah, that's perfect. Right, retrieve the fermentation container. Okay. Yep, gotcha. Right, this is where you ferment the beer, isn't it? Cool, cool, cool. Right, let's get that. So, place this down here. I remove lid. There we go. 
it's really chill this game <laughs> i've turned the music right down guys by the way as well because the uh, you know hell copyrights i don't i'm not sure about the copyright thing so i just turn it off so okay pour the uh pour into from okay then pick this up all right pour into here then i do like the pouring mechanism on this is very nice so let's do it very satisfying I don't know why <laughs> it just is all right stop pouring now can we wash this up I think we can wash this up can we hold square to clean there we go I wish you could actually see him washing it up and never mind right we'll put this back in here then I guess shall we yeah there we go okay retrieve a packet of yeast from the fridge freezer okay no problem packet of yeast over here Yeast is crucial to the brewing process as it turns fermentable sugars into CO2 and, best of all, alcohol. It will also add its own unique flavours and... Okay. All right. Let's do it. Pour all the yeast into the fermenta uh, fermentation container. Okay. Let's do it then, shall we? Get it all in there. Look at that. Done. Right, we can put this in the bin, definitely. There you go. Clean as you go, mate. Clean as you go. And then close the lid. Oh, okay. There it goes. Now to let it ferment now. Use a 15 days fermentation time. Wow. Okay. 15 days it is then. Nice one. Retrieve a bag of corn sugar from the ingredients cover. Okay, corn sugar. Okay. See, I didn't know it. This is quite a um, complicated process, isn't it? Think about it. A lot of stuff goes into a beer, man. A lot of stuff. Right, so what's corn sugar? Here we go. This is it. Corn sugar. Okay. Let's do it. Right, adding the corn sugar will allow the yeast to continue fermenting on a smaller scale during the conditioning stage. Okay, add 150 grams of corn sugar. Right, this is a, we've got a pack of 500 grams here. So, okay, we've got to be careful what we're doing here. So we can remove lid, yeah. Okay. And then we want to pour into here. We've got to be really careful about this now. 150 grams, right. Got to be ready. Oh, there you go. Put that back in there, I think. No, oh, sorry. There we go. Right, retrieve plastic barrel small and tube from equipment cover. Okay. Do I need to put the lid back on this, I wonder? Let's just put it on there for now, anyway. Okay, right, we want the... Right, condition containers are used in the conditioning stage of brewing where the beer is carbonated. Oh, the f gives it the fizz. Okay, we'll take that. And we need this tube thing as well. To transfer your beer to a conditioning container, you'll need a tube. You can find these. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen these. This is moonshine, proper moonshine. <laughs> right, we've got it. Place the barrel on a lower surface than the fermentation container connect the tube okay so you've got to kind of let it run down yeah that's fair enough isn't it so take that lid off so what you want to do is like put it on the floor then maybe so then like gravity can you know go down can't it take remove a little of that one as well nice all right connect tube and connect tube there we go we can see it going down can we Oh yeah, look, you can see it, yeah. It's even got like the scum around the top as well. <laughs> All right, cool, so we speed up time, shall we? Let's do it. It's pretty cool so far, I like this, yeah. Nice and chill, this is. How do we know, can we see? Oh, I think there's a shadow. Yeah, there's, there's a shadow of it on the uh, outside, you can see, yeah. Speed that up a bit. Oh, yeah, there you can see it go down there. All right, nice one. Is that all? That's everything. All right, slow it down, slow it down. Cool, excellent. Right, close the barrel's lid and wait 20 days. Oh, my God. Leaving lid on, sorry, leaving the lid on ensures the CO2 is not lost. Oh, yeah, fair enough then. Okay, let's take the tube. Can we take the tube? Can I get the tube back then? Hold on a minute. Yeah, you can't. Let's pick up, put it down there. Then. Oh, there you go. Oh, right. Okay. So when you pick up, the tube comes off. Okay. Attach the lid. Awesome sauce. Can we clean this? 
No, okay, it's already clean then. Put it back in. Oh, put it back in there. Uh, Going to give this a clean up as well. There we go. Put that back in. Nice one. Right. Close the barrels loop, which I've done. Wait 20 days. Let's do it, shall we? Man, long old process, isn't it? I suppose it's not. It's, it's not that long. You think about it, like you know, wine and stuff like that it takes bloody like years, isn't it? Surely. Right. Taste and package your beer. Oh, awesome. Here we go. We've made it then. Yeah. Right, what a tip. Once a conditioning container has been packaged, the beer inside can no longer be changed. Oh, okay. Do we have to grab this then? I think we have to grab it, don't we? Surely. And then do we stow item in here? No, no, hold on. Taste beer. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Is that mine? Is that what I made? Okay, it's quite pale. F flat, very high. Carbonation, very high. Okay. Clari batch size clarity. Look at that. That looks decent. Isn't it? Oh my god, yeah, I want to have a little drink now. Slightly hazy. <laughs> okay, is it not supposed to be... Is that just how it is? Or is it malty and sweet? Yeah, I like it sweet. I do like it. Uh, yeah, I don't tend to drink. I do drink beer sometimes, but like cider's the one, man. I like it a bit sweet, so that's fine. Oh, look at this. Gives you a breakdown of a uh, sour and tart. <laughs> Dark roasted, malty and sweet. Okay, yeah, look at that. Bloody hell, it's well sweet, isn't it? A little bit of fruit and spice in there. Off. What's that mean, off? It's a little bit off, is it? Smoky, hoppy and bitter. Crisp and clean. That's pretty good. It's nice and crisp and clean. Excellent. Beer style. Irish Red Ale, 88%. Scottish Export. Is that what... Okay, so it's got that... Oh, okay, all those characteristics characteristics in those beer. Yeah, so it's kind of like... It's, it's mainly an Irish Red, is it? I think that's what it means, isn't it? Hmm, okay. Aroma and flavour notes. Woody, Esther, caramel. Yeah, I did say caramel, didn't I? Toffee, mint. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Okay, cool. Well, I've made a beer. I can't believe it. I've made beer successfully. Wow, okay. The packaging stream is where you can name your finished beer, choose its style. Oh, yeah, wicked, wicked, wicked. So we can call it what we want. So obviously this is the Fat Cat Special, man. Yeah, look at that. Fat Cat Special. <laughs> wicked. So we can have a style. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that's what it means. A uh, style Irish red then. Okay, because it's got those things in it. Right, I see. So that yeah, that was the highest percentage was the Irish red, wasn't it? So then it had a bit of, it's got all these styles in it, but the main influence is Irish red. So we, we, we'll use that. That's that's fine. Whatever. Uh, the bottle style of bottle. Okay, we only got that one at the moment. That's fine. Um, glass tulip. Can we change it? Oh, we've got different glass. Look at that. Oh, here we go. Pilsner. Yeah. I think I'll go for this one here. I think. Oh, we can't change it. Oh, you can. Look at that. Here we go. Oh, no. There's a classic. There you go. There's a classic pine glass. Look at that. There we go. Uh, label maker. Oh, wicked. So we can do label template. Look at this. Oh, look at this, guys. We can... Oh, what if I've got a little cat? I think I've got a cat icon there. <laughs> got a rabbit. <laughs> um, what can we do then? It's okay. Yeah, cool. I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah. That's excellent. Return to workshop. Well, hey, we've done it, man. Let's kind of rotate this. Let's have a look at our little uh, beer bottle, shall we? Look at that. Daniel Pub today had a nice little, had a few fat cats. You know, now I'm pissed as a fart. <laughs> when you're ready, advance to the next season. Okay. Right, what do I do with this bottle then? Do I just kind of. Oh, there's my, pot, my thing over there. Look. Oh, okay. Let's just put this down there. Hold on. So that's our thing. There it is, the Fat Cat Special. <laughs> yeah, nice one. Actually, I'll take this in the living room with me. Can I just put this on my... Uh, can we just put it... We've got a little table. Yeah, put it in there. There you go. Look at that. Right, next season then. Here we go. Right, there we go. 10 a.m., day one of summer. So if you remember, we started on spring. Pick up the Brewer's Quarterly magazine. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Oh man, we're gonna be a magazine. We're gonna be famous, guys. <laughs> the fat cat beer. Okay. 
At the start of each season, you'll find new jobs, recipes, and articles in the Brewers Quarterly. These will automatically be added to your journal and Brewpedia, I love it, <laughs> which subsequently will grow as you progress through the game, no problem. There are two jobs in every season, each offering rewards such as beer tokens, mastery. Ooh, okay, I like this, I like this. I like stuff, to, I like being busy. This is me, man. And sometimes special items. You're free to complete one, both, or neither. It's up to you. Oh, we can do both of them. Oh, we can get cocky. <laughs> Not just yet, though, mate. It's just, it's, you know, it's pace ourselves one at a time, man. Although for this part of the tutorial, you need to complete at least one. Yeah, that's fair enough. Tutorial, it. come on. Right, we get beer tokens. Look at that. We're novice. We're a novice brewer. 150 beer tokens. Nice one. Each job comes with its own set of requirements that need to be met by your uh, beer in order to complete the job. They also have optional bonuses requirement. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that's it. We've got everything bought now, I think. So let's back out of that, yeah? Right. Dark matter. That's a job we're tracking. Let's have a little look. El right, okay. You could your journal. This is your journal. When you press R3, you'll find all the recipes you've collected, all that kind of stuff. Ah, mastery level. Look, currently novice. As you complete activities such as jobs, you'll gain beer tokens, increase your mastery. Okay, yeah, yeah. Obviously, we get better of it. it. Makes sense, doesn't it? We get better at it. Beer tokens can be used to buy new equipment, ingredients, and and decorations. Oh, I can do your house up. Oh, okay, nice one. Right, unpack your purchased items. Oh, that was quick delivery, wasn't it? All right, unpack. We'll take store all. There we go. Right, let's get going again. So, add and we're back. Right, and now it's all that's left is now to taste and package the beer. So let's do it. Our first job, man. Let's hope we don't fuck this up now, shall we? <laughs> so we're going here. Let's taste this, shall we? It looks good though, guys. Look at that. Look at the head on it. Look at the colour. Looks good. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. It looks better. Oh, very high. Look at that. Last time it was flat, wasn't it? Oh, nice. Clarity. Extremely hazy. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing though. Anyway, but that's that, that, that looks good to me. There we go. IBUs at least 20. I don't know what that means. Tutorial complete. Right, okay. Congratulations on completing your first job and finishing the tutorial. What next? That's up to you. You could try a second job, experiment with other brews, or even decorate your workshop using build mode. I'll we'll have to look at that. When you're ready, head to the front door and advance the next season. Good luck. So that's it, guys. There you go. That's basically what you do. Um, that's cool. So we get this. We should have like, a little display cabinet for all these things we've done, isn't it? So. Oh, look up here. Oh, you donut. It's got to be up here, isn't it? How do we get up there, though? We can't get up there. Well, for now, they're going to just sit on my little table down here, but there we go. I'm sure we'll be able to... There must be, like, a display cabinet somewhere. Oh, maybe... I... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. This is what I'm saying. Just rotate it so we can see it. Mind you, look at that label. Shit, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I didn't do nothing with the label, did I? Right, cool. Okay, guys, there it is. That's, um, we'll just have a quick look at build mode, though, before we go. Uh, open item menu. Oh, look, we've got ah, tables, chairs, sofas, look at this. Shelves, bin. Radio. Seasonal ones. We've got like, pumpkins, I guess you got Christmas trees and all that kind of stuff. All right, cool. So there we go. Let's just uh, exit that now. Right. So there you have it, guys. Tutorial complete, Brewmaster. I'd love to know what you guys think. Just leave me a comment down below. This is definitely one of those ultra, ultra chill games, isn't it? There's it's no like kind of stress in this game at all. It's just kick back, make beers, make the best beer you can make, customize it, customize your room, and that's it really, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, anyway, guys... I'll leave it there, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, as usual, just give us a little, please give us a little cheeky like. It helps me out, and um, subscribe if you want to. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you on the next one, guys.